Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, the Gun Nut. Um, as promised, bam, bulletproof backpack by Guard Dog Security. I want to say thank you, Guard Dog Security. Awesome product that you guys built. Very tough looking. Um, it's got a lot of pockets. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna here. We're here today to test it. Um, I also got, as you can see down there, a regular backpack. Um, they're both set up the same. Um, it says it's rated right here. If you get one of these backpacks, um, you'll get one of these in it, certified and approved, basically what it's rated for. Um, I'll take a picture of that. That'll be posted as well with this video and everything. Um, anything from a nine millimeter all the way up to a 44 mag, supposedly. So we're gonna test it out. I've got 38, 45, nine, 40s, 44 mag. So. Um, they're not rated for rifle rounds. Um, so on that note, I'm right now trying to wait to hear response back from other companies that um, do rifle rated inserts for backpacks. And I'm going to see if they can hook me up. <laughs> but um, we'll see what they can do. But Guard Dog Security, I want to say thank you very much. Awesome, awesome product. Y'all pay them a visit. Um, they're on Facebook, uh, Instagram as well. Um, I'll put all these descriptions and links and all that in the descriptions below after the video or check it out, whatever. But let's get to it. Um, I set this book bag up and also the other one. They're about the same. You got three binders, paper binders, no uh, textbook. Basically, I want to do a real world scenario because we all know if you got stuff in it it's gonna help out more with the blow with the round you know for protection so that's what I want to do I seen the videos where people just grab the backpack put it up and shoot it um, well I want to shoot it as if this was your child carrying it to school or you yourself was carrying it wherever you're going not just to school but um, to anywhere everyday use or whatever um, inside of this, I just, it's, it's an awful thing that's happening these days now, um, you know, that we're having to worry about sending our kids to school with a bulletproof backpack. Come on, man. Get real, people. I remember when I went to high school, shoot, throw a rifle in the back because guess what? After school, we're going hunting. I mean, that's, it's, it's that's the point of this, today's society is people's gotten soft. Um. Oh, my feelings are hurt. I need my safe space. Grow a pair. I got your safe space. Guess what? Here's my safe space. Me. I'm my safe space. You know, I'm not get on that because you know what? I'm going to blow up and no, we're not do that. Um, that's a different topic, different issue. Just grow a pair, people. Come on. Um, but awesome backpack. Let me show you a little bit some of the backpack. Um, it's got another pocket on the outside, inside dividers. Um, then you come out to this one. Tons, tons of pockets. Awesome stuff. Pocket on, pocket on a pocket. <laughs> um, the inside, this right here, unbuckles. You can extend it out. You got pockets on the outside as well. I mean, they're everywhere. You've got inside here a place for your headphones or you can plug up your cell phone or anything, put it in there. And you put it in there, zip it all up, throw it over your shoulder, guess what? You got your outlet plug right there. So you can just plug your headphones up to it or whatever and you're good to go. Um, even the strap's got little net mesh pockets on it. Your little sunglasses, you can put your glasses in there and hold it. It's tough, it's really tough built from what I can see. It really looks heavily built, awesome, awesome, super duty. Um, let me zip it up. And the whole thing, if I'm not mistaken, empty weighs about four and a half pounds, four to four and a half pounds. So um, even with them textbooks, I mean, it's, you can't really tell the difference. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. Feels good. Um, the back of it right here, as you can see, got little, I guess, massage arms. <laughs> but um, 
that's where it's at right there feels good the soft body plate armor is actually inserted in here it's actually sewn into it right here I don't know if you can hear that but let me see if I can get it you can there it is right there I don't know if you can see that print but um we will see what it does at first I'm gonna fire at the um regular book bag it's set up the same way um I'm gonna do two shots each I'm gonna do two shots with the uh, 38 on that we'll go in, inspect it check it out come back and I'll do two shots with the nine millimeter we'll inspect it come back check it out and so on and so on to each caliber so uh, with that being said let's load up and get ready all right guys what I got here 38 special if they were here at the range again eyes and ears especially with something like this what we're doing um, I've done the review already on this one charter arms 38 special make sure you subscribe to my channel click the like the little notification bell and uh, you can check out the review about this, this little revolver nice little gun so we're gonna shoot the regular book bag first and we'll see what it does Clear, showing clear. The round's empty. Let's check it out. See what we hit. Right there. Hit one, and you can see right there in the red, hit two. See if we got anything coming out the back. And as you can see, right there, looks like on. Uh, hit one Hit two might actually still be in there It's from what it looks like I can see so we'll check it out. We'll open it up and see All right, as you can see right there straight through Blue straight through the textbook and everything so and pretty sure it's the other round is stuck inside this big one right there so even with per se a regular book bag you might you might still have a chance but you know what I'm not gonna take that might I would rather be for sure it's gonna stop it because as you can see, it, the other round, the first round went straight through. So, yeah, I'm not going to take my chances on that one. Unless you just decide, hey, I'm going to pack 18 books, hardback books, in my book bag. And be like, oh, shit, hey, I'm bulletproof, though. I'm bulletproof. No, not going to happen. So, now, we'll, of course, we'll do the 380, which... I should have started out with that. If it stopped that 38, it's definitely gonna stop this 380. But um, there's a little, also, Diamondback 380 done the review. Again, subscribe so you can check the review out. clear let's go check it out three eighties you can see there and looks like there see any more exits nothing on the 380 coming out as you can see so 380 went in, one book, two books went in, and the hero of the day again, right there. 
is going to be the big textbook. So they're still in here. Now this is my kind of math. Dig that sucker out. And there's your other one. Oh, that's your 38 and there's your 380. So another the 380, another 380 somewhere in here. There we go. So you have the previous 38 special, and then there's your two 380 rounds right there. So again, guys, big textbook. Um, so far, so good. On um, just a regular book bag with the big textbook catching everything. Um, pretty impressive. I think I done blew out my zippers. So we'll try to get that in there somehow. There we go. That's my target right there. So that way it'll catch all the books and everything so we can get the full effect. Well, there you go, folks. So far, so good. Again, the big book. It's big books. So far, that's what stopped everything. Um, but again, are you really going to be carrying around all them thick, thick books, all that weight? I don't know. I know I wouldn't. I'd prefer to have a bulletproof backpack knowing for sure that it will stop a pistol round. Again, these are not rifle rated. Now we're going to go on to the 9mm Glock 43. Clear. And as we saw when I shot the first round, I saw in the back where it just blew grass, leaves, everything. So we know it went through. So we'll check the back. Let's, well, check the front right there again. Front hits. We'll go to the back. Nine millimeter right there. Blew straight through, even through the thick book again. It didn't stand up to that one. So far, looks like it went straight through. So, yeah. Man. That really bites. You can see it went straight through the 9mm. So, again, regular book bag with thick books. And that's just a 9mm, folks. Um... We haven't moved up to the 40 or 45. So let's keep going and that way you can see the outcome of everything else. Now we're gonna boost up to the 40. We got a SIG PSP 2022. Also done the review on the 43 and also well already done the review for this one. So let's get ready. Range is clear. Man, he's taking some hard hits. Front, again, you can see where they went in. Out the back. Wow. I'm surprised by that, folks. We still only have just two exits. Really surprised me. And we got 140 that it stopped. Another one's probably somewhere still in here. It's somewhere in here. I'll dig it out later. But as you can see, we still only had one, uh, actually two rounds go through it. 
from the previous uh, firearms. The 40 didn't manage to penetrate it through. Um, I am using just regular store-bought ammo, the full metal jackets, nothing special. Uh, trying to get this sucker to stay. So again, nothing special. They're just full metal jackets. Um, I'm not. I'm using full metal jackets because they have more potential to uh, um, puncture all the way through than defense ammo, where hollow points will spread open and create a, a wider, massive area to stop. So, um, done to 40. We're gonna move up. 45. Let's see what it does. I believe that one went through. Range is clear. As you can see, down here towards the bottom. Went in, came out. So, so far we got one, two, three different exits on the back side of these rounds. Um, again, I'd rather be for sure on a solid bulletproof backpack. So, let's move on. If I can get this to stay. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. How about that? Cool. <laughs> so, we done 45. Now, 44 mag. Which, that's what this one's rated for. The guard dog. 44 man. Range is clear. Pretty sure that went through. <laughs> oh yeah. It wind up that hole where that nine millimeter went through. So uh, yeah, that went through. So there you have it guys. That's on a regular book bag. Regular book bag. This is the outcome. We'll go over here to the table so you guys can see the outcome of it. We've got a bunch of entry entry holes here coming in and surprisingly one and then through that same hole was about three more uh, rounds. There's the other 40 that we uh, shot at. 40 just came out of it. So, uh, so far it stopped all of these over here. The 380 and the 40. It, ha it didn't stop the 9mm because it's a faster traveling round. Um, of course, you know, big bodies move slow. So, therefore, the 40. And, well, the 45 went through it. Um, one of them. But, yeah, big bodies move slow. <laughs> Let me pull these books out. As you can see there, we got confetti and all these entry wounds, and right there on the back went straight through. So went through all these, even the big ones. Now keep in mind that even though it says it's bulletproof, the backpack—I mean, look at that. 
Man. Um, it is still, even when it hits, the force of the round. If you're wearing the backpack, you know, you're wearing it on your back, la di da and you get a shot, don't think you go like, yeah, I'm Robocop. Shoot again. Not going to happen. Um, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel like if somebody just literally drop kicked you with a semi truck on your back if you're wearing this. Um, that's what I'm thinking anyways. I haven't been shot with a bulletproof vest or backpack, so I can't really quite imagine what it would feel, but I would know that it would still cause some kind of injury to you, but I'd rather prefer a uh, minor injury, not a so serious injury. I'd rather that than actually have a bullet through me. So um, on that note, we're gonna take a quick break, set this up, give my camera guy a break real quick because I'm pretty sure he's thirsty. So um, again, these are the rounds that stopped. So far it has stopped the 38. The 380 and 40. So with that, guys, we're going to set up real quick, take a quick break, set this up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are set back up. Uh, this is me again, the gun nut. We come back. Um, we are set up. Moment of silence for uh, the regular backpack. She did not survive. Okay, enough of that. Um... Guard dog security. We've got her set up, and the same thing. We put the books, uh, big textbook, ring binder. It's got the same books that this one had is in that one. So we're gonna test it out. We get right to it. Again, we're gonna go with a 380 start off. Uh, last time I started out with a 38 special. This time I'm gonna start off with a 380. So again, we're on the range, eyes and ears. Especially eyes and ears, since we're doing something like this. Range clear. Let's see what we hit. Got two hits. One there, one there. 380. And no exits on the back. So we will open it up. You can see hit, hit, went in. Go on to the next pocket. Hit, hit, next pocket. As you can see, one, two, one, two, thick book. Like I said, these books are going to add an extra layer of security. And look, right there, right away. One, two. So yes, these thick hardback binder books that your kids get will add a extra, extra layer of security to the bag itself for, you know, I guess you can say for your protection and stuff. So that added a good help. Right there you have it, 380. So now we're gonna move on to the 38 Special. So again, even with just, I got three regular uh, binders in there, a one inch. Here, let me grab these. This is what I got in there. Just three regular binders, one of these. And of course, if they fill that up with paper, that's gonna add even more. And a thick textbook. So that's what's in there too. So now we're going to move on to the 380. 
right. Let's do this. And you know what? I'm going to get a little bit closer. It says um, 16.5 feet. I really want to test this thing out. So um, we'll get closer. Because the other one I've done about, um, I was 15 feet. I'm literally maybe 10 feet from it now. So, well, with 10, if it's going to do some damage, it's going to do damage at 10 feet, no matter what you got. So, we'll go with that. Gun is clear, range is clear. You can see right there. One, two. Those are from the 380, 38, right there. One, two. Open it up. Straight through. Straight through. The bottom, that bottom hit right there, hit the textbook. Bam, bam, hit the book. And I'm sure it's in here. Right there. It didn't even, it barely punctured the actual textbook. It actually stopped inside this black binder. It stopped on this one. Right there. The 38. Now, the second one, as you can see right here, that top hit. Hit the top of that, graze that, and actually hit the plate. And you can see right there, it stopped it cold. If I can dig it out. There we go. Voila. It stopped it around the back. No exit wounds or no exit holes or nothing. Now again, keep in mind that that is going to hurt like crazy. I am more than sure that it's going to hurt. I'm sure some of you that are watching this can concur on that, that that will pack a punch. I mean, that's going to that's gonna really hurt. But you know what? I would rather much it hurt like crazy than be dead. So... There's that. So far, so good. So far, it stopped the 380 and 38 special. So now we're going to go on to 9mm. Glock 43. And again, I'm going to do these at 10 feet to really test this out. The, uh, the paperwork that came with it said 16 and a half feet range. So uh, with the regular book bag, that's where I was at. I was at 16 feet. With this one, I'm at 10 feet. If, like I said, if it's going to do any damage, it's going to do it right here. Range clear. So we come back in. Right here. That's where you're 38. Or 380, 38, 9. That's why I'm a 9 millimeter guy. I group better with it. <laughs> Stayed in. Punctured through. Right there. Went through, went through, went through. And I got a feeling they're in here because... No exit. Again, textbook. Thick, thick textbooks. Your kids might hate them, but guess what? It could save their lives. There they are. Nine millimeter. It went in a good bit. I mean, you can see this bullet entry, bullet entry, bullet exit, basically. Still exit. This is the effects of an impact, not an entry or an exit wound, 
but the impact, the sheer impact that the bullet has is right there. That's just from the sheer impact that the bullet gave this book. So, so far so good. Now we're gonna move on to 40. Forty. Again at ten feet. Range is clear. Again, forty right there. We'll just go ahead and we know it went through all the other ones. We'll just go ahead and check the books themselves. 40, went through, went through. Uh, went through that one. Ooh, came out through there too. And I can't get it, but I can feel it. It's inside in the actual, uh, I guess you can say the fabric. So it went through the book. From what I can tell. Because I yet to see the round of the 40. Oh, do I feel something? Nope. Nothing. So that's telling me it went through. So there's somewhere in here. Let's check the back. And. Nothing on the back. No holes out the back at all. So let's move on. Keep shooting it. And then we'll take the back down and we'll go through it and double check everything. So let's move on to 45. clear we'll leave that we'll move on we'll we'll check it out later we'll see what kind of exit wounds it has we'll, let's check the back real quick just to make sure again the back no exit holes completely solid so so far so good and again that's at 10 feet they recommended on that paper that they gave me 16 and a half feet. Um, that was at 10 feet. So we're gonna be 10 feet with this 44 mag and I believe this 44 mag, uh, 240 grains. And again, this is all full metal jacket, no hollow points. So uh, we'll see. If it does go through anything, it's going to do it on this one at 10 feet. If. If. Range is clear. First thing first, let's check the back where you would be wearing it. As you can see, no holes, nothing. Completely solid. It did its job. Books. Take these down. Straight through. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Straight through. Hello. Oh, look, we got some bullets in here. There's the 40. 
I can know that was the 45. Or 40. I don't know. Either one. I don't, guys can't, I don't know if you can see. I wish you could feel it, but I can feel right here where it all wrinkled up. And I can actually feel trying to get it. Oh, that's hot. Because I just fired it, dummy. Don't call me no dummy. <laughs> All right, wait a minute, right there. There's your 44. Yeah, I wish you guys can feel that, but I can feel the whole, where everything bunched up in there, where the soft body armor did its job, it kind of just impacted it and it just took it. The energy just took the bullet and cased it and impacted it and stopped it. But again, um, that helped out a lot. Having these books helped out a lot. These are not rifle rated. So they will not, a rifle will not stop these. These are just rated up to 44 Magnum. So you know what, we're gonna take a quick break I'm going to leave the books out. I'm going to load all these up. And I'm just going to go to town with it until we can get some penetration through it with these handguns. So that means to shoot them over and over and over and over. Guess what? I'm going to do that. So take a quick break. We're going to set up. All right, guys. It's me again, the gun nut. We are set back up. As you can see, I emptied out the backpack. And we found some more rounds in it. So these are all the rounds that it stopped so far, basically everything. These are the ones that the regular backpack stopped with the big heavy textbooks in it. Um, so now it is completely empty. I loaded everything up. And this time I'm going to be probably in the vicinity of maybe eight feet. And we're just going to unload it one right after another to see if anything penetrates through it now keep in mind that um we've already shot at it the soft body armor soft body armor plate inside of it already took some impact from the 44 and from i believe the 40 as well so um it's done its job by any means if it was to be used like in uh, in the field that plate would be discarded. It would not be able to be used again. But we're gonna use this one again, empty, to see if anything goes through it. Which, uh, it might on the high, on the bigger calibers. So, uh, again, we're gonna start out with the 380, and we're not just gonna do two rounds, full mag. I believe we got some penetration on that one. That's because I'm concentrating my fire in the center area from where I've been shooting. Range is clear. And go to the back. And I believe we got some penetration on that one. Um, wow. Yeah, actually right there towards the bottom. As you can see right there at the bottom. So, open this up. Yep, I can feel the hole in there. Went straight through the bottom. Which again, that's where, if I'm, sh the angle I'm shooting at, it's coming in, it's not straight. I'm actually on a downward hill, target's downward hill. I'm up higher, so I'm actually shooting at the center. I'm actually not shooting direct out I'm actually shooting this way so I can see why it would come out the bottom what I'll do is I'll aim more for up here at the top the unhit area so that way we can see if it'll hold up again the reason why that 380 went through is I concentrated my fire in that same area that the 9 the 40 and the 44 all went through that hole in that general area So now we got 38. Range 
is clear. As you can see right here, all the hits, nothing at the back. No holes. Impressive. Impressive. Now we're going to move on to the 9mm. And again, I'm about 8 feet away. Range clear. You can see right here, all the hits. Nothing out the back. Now we're gonna go to the 40. clear. Check the back. Oh man, look at there. Whew. We don't know if that's penetration or just where it ripped. I don't see no hole, but you can see the actual soft body armor right there. Um, I don't think that's actual penetration because I didn't see no any other leaves or grass or anything fly up. I think that's just sheer force from the 40 being all hit in that same area. Because as you can see, I concentrated my fire all in that area right there. That's where it would hit. So again, I don't think we got penetration. I just think that sheer force of where all the rounds hit in the general area pushed that whole wall through. So I can imagine we're about to finish it off with the 45 and the 44. So again, that would still hurt like crazy. So let's move on to the 45. And keep in mind, I'm only like five feet away. Well, take that back, eight feet away. When the paperwork itself says um, about 16 and a half feet. And again, I'm concentrate. I'm gonna change that first fire was still concentrated in the same area. I'm gonna try to move over to the non-hit area. Oh, hang on. Got a malfunction here. I'm using steel ammo. This gun hates steel ammo. I was using brass earlier. That's another reason why I don't use steel ammo. Range is clear. Let me pick up this live round. As you can see, I went around this area here. 45. Again, that's probably went through because, yeah, there's no armor there. That 40 done all the damage right there. It peeled. What happened there, The when I hit the 40 on that side, that armor plate kind of shrunk and tried to catch all the the rounds, so it pulled the armor back to that one area. So where that 40 went through, there's no armor there because it just pulled everything through. So again, um, just the bag itself is good. 
Um, you saw in the video where we done the test with books and everything. It did great. The bag itself done great. Empty. Until, you know, we decided to just go overboard. Overkill, I guess. You can say overboard. Overkill is the wrong word. <laughs> um, overboard. With just trying to go through this bag. Which we managed to do. But again, that's because... You can, I can feel right here with my hands inside where the whole body plate, the whole soft body armor is just collected in one area. This whole side right here, there is no body armor there. It's all right here. It all puckered up right there. So we're going to finish it off with the 44 in that same area right there. So I'm going to concentrate my fire all right here. There goes the body armor. We'll shoot at it on the ground. Ew. And we are out. Let's take a look at the aftermath. Yeah, you can see we're just ripped straight through that with that 44. Again, that's because it was completely empty. Didn't have nothing in it. Plus, we've already been shooting at it. The armor itself has already been compromised. Once the round hits it, it sort of becomes compromised. Therefore, you can't use it again. But, just for the video purpose, we just kept on going until we hit fail. So, we finally hit fail. Here's the body armor of what's left of it. it even opened up. You can see right there that's your soft body armor. See a couple of rounds in here too that it caught from previous. There's more rounds in there. I mean, this thing, it, it, it's done its job. Um, and in the real world situation, of course you would have books and all that in it. You wouldn't be carrying around an empty book bag. Here's some more rounds that we found. Right there. So, in my opinion, man, they're just falling out. In my opinion, it's a great book bag. It'll do the job. In real world, situ real world situations, It'll do the job. We just pushed it beyond its limit of obsessive use and, you know, once it's compromised, no good. We just went beyond that. So, Guard Dog Security, I think you guys build and made a great, great product. Thank you again for making an awesome product. And... I hope uh, you guys out there found this information information useful um, and make the correct choice. So uh, they also make some body ins body armor plate inserts, soft body armor that just is just this right here that you can slide basically into any book bag. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get my hands on it, and they make some that are rifle rated as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, again, thanks for watching the Gun Nut. Thanks for watching my channel. Make sure you like, hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell, ding. Um, share, comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this backpack and what do you think about it. Guys, this is Gun Nut. Until next time, <laughs> we'll see what we can shoot up. Come out.